Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with Emil1951. Last time we played with this tank looks like it was in 2019 so a lot of time passed. Um, and this vehicle overall is rated as a playable in the index page and there is a reason for that because of awful gun. But since at the time we did not have uh, an equipment 2.0 um, this tank main problem was the gun and obviously you cannot trust this tank armor, right? Uh, those are the problems of this vehicle. Other than that, it would be kind of alright and it would not be uh, so horrible of the vehicle, right? So, what we are going to do today, today we will try to make this tank work. Um, I will try to play... Um, as good as I can for my abilities, right? And hopefully everything will work just fine. So, first things first, we have a first map, which is... Uh, um, which is Ensk. We have an extremely good matchmaking for ourselves, so let's try to make it work. Unfortunately, first hit miss, that's okay, but we are getting some assisting damage, so I cannot complain that much about this. I do not really think enemies have any forces in the city and I think our team is um, standing solid as a rock. So I believe we are going to have a great time soon against this Emil. Now, if this Emil will shoot at least one, we have a humongous advantage over this gentleman. And in fact, he just fired. So what that basically means, that basically means we are going to clip him literally for free because he is not paying attention. And if he is not paying attention, he is not going to like this. Beautiful. Now, even though if he is reloading first, it doesn't really change absolutely anything for us. And the main reason being is because we have some friends in the back. Now, at this point, all we need to do, we need to uh, put some pressure for the enemy forces who are sitting here so we are feeling relatively well um, and I believe we should get another free clip uh, relatively easily. Speaking about the easy clip there is one shot and there is second shot and there is a third shot. Beautiful, very very nice. Even though IS is being extremely aggressive towards us I am feeling great. Uh, why am I feeling great? Because I am not alone here and we have a friendly unit who will try to make a bit of pressure for the enemies and at this point we can get even more involved how we are going to do this and how we will approach enemy forces first of all we will try to deal with this soon right Sue is trying to escape obviously definitely on success uh, um, this is not a great success for the Sue, but in the same time nothing what he could change there and look at this first battle 3000 damage 400 assisting damage and obviously we are ignoring the scorpion G and we are trying to go somewhere where we can find more damage uh, in the game so first game is looking extremely good for us but uh, you need to keep this in mind boys and girls ladies and gentlemen it looks very great for us for one particular reason and that particular reason is we are having a great matchmaking right we are fighting against the lower tiers that's why I want to see this um, light tank peaking but I do not really think he is going to do that yet and bam snapshot nice one beautiful 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 game meanwhile we are on the reload we are taking our time we are going through the middle of the field in a way and next victim is going to be this stg um skill why are you going for stg and why you are not going for that light tank the thing is this light tank is kind of dead already our king tiger should show dominance for this gentleman and we should feel relatively well right so instead of focusing on this guy we are just going for this stg GSTG is taking one for the team, two for the team, and three for the team. Beautiful. And now we are on the reload once again. Great game, all and all. Um, there is nothing to add, nothing to say. Uh, we were extremely, extremely, extremely lucky with matchmaking, and uh, enemies literally cannot do absolutely anything for us. Um, it's just that situation whenever you are playing with a mouse or anything else and whenever you are finding uh, enemy team stuck in a way. And this is exactly how the things uh, we are looking like in this game. And in the end of the day, we are also rigging brother in arms. So, fellas, uh, perfection. 
4.8,000 damage, 500 assisting damage, brother in arms rigged, absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, I am feeling pretty damn happy speaking about our performance and this tank works. So skill, Emil is the best tank in the world of tanks. No, it's not. Uh, it is a first game and we made it work. Hip, hip, hooray, right? It's not even ace. Wow, surprising. Anyways, we are saying uh, thanks and he's saying love your streams. Thanks, mate. Have a lovely day and thank you once again. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I am always happy, fellas, to meet you in the game. It is my pleasure and it is my privilege in the same time. Anyways, first battle, um, solid first class. We have a high caliber. We have the brother in arms. Uh, we are first by the damage, first by experience, and we made 126,000 profits in four minutes. Uh, extremely good result considering how everything went. So now without further ado, let's go for round number two. And me Meanwhile, fellas, um, I believe you are familiar with the index page uh, already, but if you are not, feel free to check it out by using Google and typing skillful 2 index or alternatively just, just check out the description down below. We have ratings of the tanks, we have relatively new tech trees here and we are working on implementing more stuff. You can see the equipment of the tanks, you can see crew setup, you can see videos, you can see field modifications and many, many other stuff. So if you have and check this out please do i hope you are going to get a lot of use especially if you are a newer player in the world of tanks um so yeah that's about it fellas okay what do we have we have a tier 10 matchmaking which is not looking that great but we will try to make it work um i believe um i believe fellas we are going to play uh, do i want to go on top of the hill this is the question this is the question. Do I want to go on top of the hill? Look at those PPs raised. Fellas, look at those PP raised. Let's make them shoot. Let's make them shoot. Boom in the air once. Boom in the air twice. Boom in the air three times. Beautiful. We will be able to reload anyways. And without further ado, I am loading the gold ammunition uh, for obvious reasons. Right? It just simply makes sense to do so. And now we are taking our time and we are going on top of the hill. Um. The thing is, we are not able to fight. Uh, um, we are not able to fight against the against the tier tens on top of the hill. I believe it needs to be said, and I believe this is understandable. But uh, we have quite a lot of gentlemen who are going on top of the hill so it's not like um we are going to face only tier 10s and we cannot do absolutely anything right this is the thing this is the thing my man mm. okay let's try to take this position hopefully it will uh, work hopefully it will uh, work hmm Let's see. Mm -hmm. We know enemy medium tank is already playing next to the windmill. Completely understandable. And now we are having a bit of the problems. Uh, this gentleman is playing hold down, so this is not so great. But once again, nothing what we can change about this. We need to wait until our big boys will arrive. Um, whenever big boys will arrive, we can and we will make a bit of the pressure fellas that's what i am dreaming about and that's what i want to see okay ml is not feeling so comfortable now beautiful and this is what we want to see meanwhile he is aiming for us but once again i do not really mind i want to hit his cupola if it is possible in fact i don't really care about his cupola at this point although i do trying to hit him unfortunately missing my shot trying to hit him once again and <coughs> successfully hitting him very nice okay so far so good we cannot complain we are on the reload for 20 seconds we are using our time wisely while while dancing with a centurion and everything is looking pretty damn great okay um what we need to do now we need to eliminate the centurion and this was from the game this was is not feeling great i can promise you that and was in fact is saying oh f i need to run for my life not today buddy not today nice now 
pay attention where we are aiming to penetrate this guy here. We are aiming to his shoulder, unfortunately we are missing. Unfortunate, nothing what we can do about this. An enemy team already lost the heal. Okay, that's fair. So, what do we want to do at this point? But skill, you are spamming full gold. Fellas, I am going with a full gold for a very simple reason. Uh, enemies have a tier 10, right? And if I am... The alternative option to this is me shooting high explosives. And believe me, shooting high explosives is not an option I am looking for. And this is not a good deal for us. So please, keep this in mind. And uh, whenever you are bottom tier, you do not really have that many different choices and different options overall. So either you are going full gold mode or either you are taking one for the team and you are complaining about an equal matchmaker and uh, how horrible world of tanks is um with a tier 10 it is a bit different situation with a tier 8 it is not so simple and it is not so easy meanwhile obviously we want to get involved to the maximum here i believe they still have the charioteer somewhere around this area and if they do not have charioteer around this area that means uh, we can we can easily take this bush. He got penetrated by the grill and I think he is getting penetrated by someone sitting here. But once again, we are feeling completely fine. Our one fort is making pressure like there is no tomorrow. And at this point, I am just aiming for Mr. Grille. Mr. Grille looks like it. He is tracked. Once again, completely understandable. And at this point, I want to go just like so. Bizonte is sitting already here. Interesting. Yeah, I think this is kind of of a game over I would say for the enemy team um can enemy team do something about this to be fair with you not really um they are trying to play for the best of their abilities but they have no team and if enemies have no team, once again, they cannot change absolutely anything. Meanwhile, Grille is in the open field. We are smacking him. And hopefully we will get a bit more um, assisting damage as well. Right? 20 seconds left. I really doubt we are going to arrive here in time in order to get more use. Although you never know. 10 seconds left. I am trying to build a better angle for Mr. Bizonte. Bizonte will get effed by the Centurion and by the... 60 TP, so uh, by the looks of it, it looks like a game over for this gentleman. Yeah, a quite quick game. Um, another 6 minutes of World of Tanks. Boom, just like this. And we have 2.5 thousand damage, 1.5 thousand assisting damage. 4 thousand combined. A pretty great performance. Skill, are you lucky? Sure thing I am. Um, because I can, I could get penetrated by Centurion action. Shit, I could get penetrated by um, Panzer 7. But luckily for us... Um, they decide not to. Um, maybe they we are thinking, yeah, it's useless tank anyways, you never know. Anyways, uh, second class, we are first by experience, we are fourth by the damage, I'm feeling very great with my result, 87,000 profits, great, and another good game, okay, let's go for round number three. And we are back, fellas, with round number three, now we have a bit better matchmaking for ourselves, we are fighting against the tier 8s and tier 9s, so we, at least we are not um, bottom tier, well, in a way we are, but not against the tier 10s, um, and everything is looking completely fine for us so um what kind of equipment skill you are rolling on this vehicle i am going with ventilation um stabilizer and improved aiming to maximize the gun handling uh penetration of the standard shells 217 and 1080 shell velocity and with a gold we have two uh 242 millimeters of penetration and we have a bit a better shell velocity as well so it is kind of important um to have some gold ammunition as well obviously the difference is not so humongous as you might think it is uh, but uh, it is better than nothing if you know what i mean and just to load it in the hard situations and this is very important thing to say meanwhile luckily we found the tourist and i like tourists i don't know how about you a uh, full clip although we play we paid a humongous price for my um greediness so minus half of hp in the first moment of the game um not very good trades fellas to be fair with you definitely not the best trades ever um did i deserve this absolutely yes i was greedy and i cannot complain about uh, my greediness you know 
Greediness is greediness and there is nothing what I could change about this. Um, let's see, do we have a better angle to try to um, deal with enemies sitting here? To be fair with you, not really. And we need to make this work somehow and unfortunately the, the situation is not looking that great fellas. Meanwhile T95 is considering his life choices of being aggressive uh, and indeed he can be aggressive. Meanwhile let's see can we punish this cover 4? Yes we can. We are trying to escape before the T95 arrive to this position. I really want to escape just like so. Arta is stunning us. I'm trying to run for my life for obvious reasons and oh boys oh boys the t95 is very very close to us and we are having a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, uh, problems meanwhile luckily for us we have this t44 100 and i need to penetrate this guy cupola otherwise we are going to have a um, very horrible situation he is thinking about us but once again i cannot do absolutely anything for him he just eliminated t44 100 i'm trying to escape before he is reloaded i am a Aiming for his cupola, taking my time and Arta is killing me. Shame. Okay, nothing what I can change about this enemy. T95 simply went in front, full balls in, and it worked just great for this gentleman. Nothing what we can change about this. Am I happy about this game? Yeah, to be fair with you, not really, because I did some silly goose trades. But once again, nothing what we can change about that. We need to accept this, and we need to say better luck next time. Let's teleport into the end of this game, and let's see what kind of score we have. And we are back, fellas. Well, that was a quick game. We survived at 2 minutes 42 seconds. That was quick, fellas. Anyways, we finished everything with a third class. 1,000 assisting damage, 1.5,000 damage dealt. Um, kudos to the T44100. He tried to help us, but hashtag never lucky. Both of us got effed in the end of the day. We are sixth by experience. We are fifth by the damage. Uh, and we made 58,000 profits, which is not bad considering we survive it for two minutes literally so that's not bad whatsoever all and all our score with this tank is 3000 damage 1.1000 assisting damage and i would call this a great success it was absolutely amazing speaking about this video and we made this vehicle work so i am happy fellas so Thank you very much for watching, I hope you had a great time and I hope you enjoyed yourself and obviously thank you very much for everything what you are doing for us fellas, I appreciate you and I hope I am worth it. What do I mean by saying that? Uh, for watching YouTube videos, for supporting us via the Patreon or clicking the join button or just simply buying bananas in the index page or sending us a tip however you would uh, call this thank you i appreciate you and once again i hope i am worth this thank you very much and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace